in the right light at the right time, everything is extraordinary. Hi, I'm Rebecca Denton, and I'm a photographer based in Nashville, Tennessee, and I specialize in weddings and lifestyle photography. The purpose of this shoot was to do an outdoor bridal portrait session, and I really wanted it to have a romantic English countryside kind of vibe. And I also wanted it to have soft golden backlight. So we had already rescheduled the shoot once because of rain. And on this day, we had to shoot at about one in the afternoon because of the bride's schedule. And so uh, it had been really overcast, which would have been perfect. But on this day, it was bright and sunny. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. And the original location that I had planned for, which had tall grass and it was kind of more of a field, um, we could not shoot there because there was harsh bright sunlight, harsh shadows, and the timing with that sun wouldn't have worked. So I needed to go and find a place that had some solid open shade, but that still fit with the mood of the shoot. Um, fortunately, I was able to find a rock wall that was the entrance to a park, and it still had that English countryside feel, but it gave us some really solid shade, which allowed us to control the light and add in my own backlight in a soft way that we just didn't have with the natural sunlight. So for this setup, I used one alien bee located about 45 degrees behind the bride. And on the alien bee, I used a one quarter CTO gel, which warmed up the light and just added kind of a yellow orange glow to kind of mimic that golden hour sun. And I had my assistant Deb to camera left holding a round white reflector to bounce some of that light back into the bride's face. I went ahead and photographed Alden without the flash, which I think is still a beautiful portrait just with the natural light. But adding in that backlight really gives it a softer look, uh, it gives it more warmth, and it really just elevates the image. I love using policy buff equipment because it's very portable, it's easy to use, user friendly. It was very easy to set up in this outdoor location. It's also affordable and for me in this situation, I needed something stronger than a speed light that would, that would overpower the sun. So that worked really well for me on this shoot. I decided to shoot this tethered because I wanted to be able to see the image a little bit larger right away and I wanted to make sure that there were no unnatural shadows caused by the backlight or any sun flares that I didn't want. The other reason I wanted to shoot tethered was so that I could immediately show Alden the bride what her photos looked like. It's always really fun to see the joy on their faces when they can immediately see what their image looks like instead of having to wait. When I started my photography business, I kind of resisted photographing weddings because of the pressure and just I wasn't sure that that's something I wanted to do. But when I finally did try wedding photography and shot my first wedding, it actually felt very comfortable. I quickly fell in love with documenting the day and with the photojournalism aspects, but also with the portraiture parts of being a wedding photographer. But I also quickly learned that in order to be a wedding photographer, you really have to know how to master your light because on a wedding day, you hardly ever have perfect lighting scenarios. If it rains or if it happens to be a dark overcast day or if it happens to be super sunny, no matter what, you have to know how to work with the light and many times create your own light. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you want to see more of my work, please follow me at R. Denton Photography on Instagram, or you can visit my website at RebeccaDentonPhotography.com. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And thanks for watching. Bye!